Hey guys, this is Robot2121. Today I have two really cool bot switch designs to show you. If you already know what a bot switch is, click here, cause I'm gonna explain it right now. So basically what a bot switch is, it's a device that detects block updates. For example, placing and breaking a block of gold. Uh, you can get a redstone output. This is one of the most classic and widely used designs. Like you can get any output you want. Um, but it doesn't only detect placing and breaking the block, it also detects more advanced block updates like blocking on redstone or placing an ender eye in an um, end portal. Or even playing a jukebox. So the way bot switches work is you have a piston and if you power the piston the piston is going to extend obviously and that's because uh, there is a block change uh, this close to the piston and that uh, makes the piston check if it should extend and it finds out that it should. If I have the powered block up here though, the piston is not going to extend because it doesn't check if there is a powered block nearby. If I update it though, it's gonna check and it's gonna see oh there's a powered block right there, it's, it has to extend. And right now it doesn't check if uh, there's a powered block either, so I have to update it and then it's gonna see, oh, I shouldn't be extended actually, and it retracts. And this could also be done like this. But this is the most common way how this is done. And then you can have a block in front of the piston, and this is the block uh, you're gonna power. You have this and you have this. So now when the piston extends, we'll get a redstone output here. And oh, by the way, see when I flip this off, uh, it instantly retracts. It doesn't need a block update. That's because this part of the piston is close enough to the block here that it detects that. Uh, we can use this redstone signal then to do this and invert it. So now what we have done, uh, when the piston is retracted this is gonna be on and when it extends it's gonna turn off because uh, this redstone activates. And we have a resettable butt switch. So this is one of the two butt switches I would want to show you today. Uh, you can see there has to be a different concept because this piston doesn't have any uh, blocks diagonal to it or two blocks above it. Uh, I developed a completely different concept for a butt switch but it might have been done before by someone I haven't seen it anywhere, so I'm just uh, showing it to you here. So the trick is you have a bunch of blocks uh, that the piston has to push and the piston is obviously gonna push that blocks. Um, but if you have an extended piston that's a special thing that can't be pushed. So it's gonna stay retracted. And now we can break all this and the piston is not gonna extend uh, because it needs a block update. If we place a block here, then it's gonna extend because it's gonna see there's uh, only one block in front of it. So that's what I'm using here. The piston extends 
and then this piston uh, pushes the block back uh, and this piston here receives a block update well that's gonna be quite complicated let's do it here so let's have let's have this so we can power them so this piston extends and then it retracts then that one extends and before that one retracts this one gets a redstone signal and then that one retracts now this one needs a block update to check if it needs to extend because it does so that's what's going on here <coughs> pardon me this powers the piston so when the block goes there this is no longer gonna be powered and this is gonna be powered then so uh, the piston is gonna retract and this one is going to extend now when this block comes back here uh, this is gonna be powered again but the piston is not gonna extend because that one hasn't retracted yet so maybe if I look at it from this angle you can see that this redstone will turn on before that piston retracts it's kinda hard to see but that's because of this delay here now you might ask why is this better than that design why, do, why would anyone build this since that is more compact well there are two features that make this better than that in ways first there are no sticky pistons and that's a big one because if you want to build it in survival uh, you will need sticky pistons to build that butt switch but you won't need sticky pistons to build this one i keep doing that and the other thing is there are no blocks above it and uh, i mean every butt switch that works on that concept uh, needs at least a block above it that uh, the pistons gonna get powered diagonally by but not this one so if uh, you are looking for a butt switch that uh, doesn't have any blocks above the piston here you're gonna have to use this one now this is how you build it have two pistons like that and uh, choose which one you uh, want to be the block updater uh, the one you need to place the block next to it uh, and let's say it's this one you put a block in front of that one and then to the side you need a piece of redstone and another block then the other piston you have a repeater here set to one tick delay and you just put two blocks like that and a piece of redstone here now you can uh, of course do that but that's a bit more expensive and now all you need to do is put two redstone torches below here and your butt switch works now this torch you can actually put it over here so it's even more compact now this other butt switch is designed especially to be flush with the ground that's the only purpose of this design uh, because uh, using this concept we can do that we don't need a block diagonally to the piston so now it's flush with the ground and it works it's the same thing as before uh, this piston extends and it retracts and then this torch turns on again and it powers the piston but uh, right in that moment uh, you'll see this piston extends so 
it blocks the piston above. Uh, so if that piston wasn't there, this would this would have just been a clock. So to build this design, you're gonna need your sticky piston here, put a block in front of it, and place the piston that blocks this piston off. Now you're gonna power this piston here with a redstone torch there. And the redstone torch is gonna be powered by this redstone. And this also powers the piston here through a delay. And set this repeater on two ticks. Now all we need to do yet is connect a signal from wait. <laughs> connect a signal from here. So we'll do that. Uh, we have to connect this to this redstone. And the most compact way I can think of is by having a block here. Having two blocks down here. And doing that. And another redstone here. So now it works. Although these two repeaters give some delay, um, you can actually make it faster by connecting this some other way uh, but know that this has to be pointing towards that block and you can't use a half step here uh, so because then this wouldn't power that repeater so it's kinda complicated you need to power it from this side and the only way to avoid all the repeaters is to have it going all the way around here. So you can make it faster but with the cost of making it bigger and use more resources. So now it's, now it's faster. It's actually much faster. So these are the two butt switches, none of them is directional, I checked that, that's always nice to check. So uh, whatever direction you turn them, um, north, east, south or west, they will still work. Again, it is completely possible that someone has invented this before, I just haven't seen it anywhere myself. So hope this is useful to you and thanks for watching.